Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. This is a really cool video we're gonna do, I'm gonna tell you why. This is claimed to be 28,714 original miles. There are a lot of original parts on the car, and we're gonna walk around and let you decide for yourself. It seems to be uh, that way, and I'll tell you why it seems to be that way, because it drives so well. But not only does it drive so well, yes, it's a super sport, yes, it's matching numbers, okay? And it has a ton of options on it. This thing is loaded up with options and things. It is a cool collector piece. So one of the things you wanna think about when you're buying a car like this is, is it investment grade? And what does investment grade mean? Like when I hear matching numbers, sometimes I don't really know what that means uh, or what is an investment grade? What's a grade one? What's a grade two? What's a grade three? Let's walk around, let's look at this car and then we'll kind of summarize uh, what we feel this car really is and how you can benefit from it, okay? So this car is originally came from the factory, all right? With 936 being the code on the cowl tag that's riveted inside the car, it's an ermine white car. One of the reasons I think this car survived so well is because it's a white car or a beige car. Maybe it wasn't a red car or a black car, a red or a black car. Those people who bought those cars, they really drove them hard sometimes. I'm not saying everybody did, but sometimes. The white cars and beige cars tended to be more relaxed people. They drove it, they bought a car like this because A, either that's all they had uh, on the lot at the moment, or B, they wanted something a little bit sporty, but not so, uh, but not so in your face, all right? So check out this, this has new paint on it. Okay, and see how you can read all that right there? You can read the nice letters in there. The paint really is very nice, okay? Lots of new chrome and stainless around the car. Even though the car may have 20,000 original miles, you know, 40 years of uh, the atmosphere, it's gonna damage any kind of stainless trim and stuff like that, all right? So this has been replaced. And then uh, as you walk around the car, the fender skirts are removable, okay? This also has radial tires on it as well, okay? We could put rally wheels on it if you wanted to uh, with some BF Goodrich radial TA. So there's a couple different things we could do with the car if you wanted. Uh, we could even put a set of red lines on it, which would look really cool with the interior. But that's up to you. And that's the kind of fun thing that we do here. I love that stuff, all right? So you got your Impala SS callouts. Then back here, everybody knew at this point, you got the engine turned uh, panel back here. So that gave you an idea of uh, that this was a super sport. New emblems here. And so the jet age is upon us right now, okay? So it's the 60s, early 60s, the jet age is upon us, and everything is very jet looking. These are the exhaust of the engine jets, uh, raciness down the sides of the cars. Everything looks like it's moving, moving forward, moving forward. And so as we look around, you can see the really nice shiny pieces, like the chrome and stainless and stuff like that. And this is what really separates this from the other uh, thousands and thousands of Impalas out there. And when you find one like this with the original equipment still on the car, all right, and uh, a really great condition, this is a cool piece. All right, let's go check under the hood for a minute because uh, this has, uh, not only has great power, right, but it has some really nice options under there and that's what we're gonna go look at. All right, so let's take a peek under the hood here for a minute because this is really, uh, I think, done nicely in here, all right? so. We detail the engine compartments. I think the guys did a really great job in here. We were waiting on the correct decal, like we got the breather decal, the 327 call out, stuff like that. We're waiting on the AC decal because, you know, so many of these cars didn't have air conditioning. Uh, we didn't actually have any of these in stock, which is crazy, all right? We put in new hood insulation so it would look nice, all right? Battery topper here, correct uh, decals here, OptiClean washer bottle, all right? It's got uh, working horns, working air conditioning. So it's got all those great things. This also has power steering which is uh, one of those things we forget to ask about. Although this is a large car, uh, it's so easy to drive now that it has power steering. This is the original 327 that came in the car, which is really even cooler to me, the fact that something could survive for, for 50 plus years uh, in its same spot, which is why the car is so nice to drive too. The fact that it's all kind of really original, but uh, updated and restored in places that it need to be, and other places were left uh, intact, so that you have a great piece of history. All right, so part of the detail that when you uh, restore these cars or do whatever is this wrapped up in here. This is nice, so like, check this out. See how you can see all the ridges in here, original sealer from the factory. Uh, it's not covered with like Bondo and 10,000 coats of paint. It's done properly because it's probably, a lot of it's original, right? 
Inside here, you got the jacking instructions. It's painted like it's supposed to be. It has a spare tire. You say, well, what's the big deal about having a spare tire? Well, most cars don't have a spare tire anymore, and to find one in here uh, is nice. We can also put a spare tire cover on there if you want to. I think it would probably look really nice, and uh, that would kind of dress up and finish the whole interior of the car. So, But look at this, man. This is really cool. Like, you could throw some lawn chairs in here, or go to the beach with this car, take two couples out with it, so six of you. That's what makes these cars so awesome, is that you can go someplace with them, go to a car show, take the kids out, whatever, have some fun, it sounds great, and you've got an investment at the same time. Remember, this car was you know, probably less than $4,000 when it was new, and now look what they're selling for. So you know, don't take my word for it, you know that these are investment-grade cars because obviously they're still going up. All right, so come on in. One thing I wanted to show you though real quick is check this out. Here is the six footer sitting back here, sorry, six one. I don't even touch the seat and the seat's all the way back. So uh, to throw another uh, few people back here is great. Throw a few kids back here, another couple. This is a lot, a lot of fun. All right, so let's get into the place where you might be uh, most of the time, all right? Okay, so you got your console here, which is nice optional bucket seats. So a lot of the pieces I left stock inside here. So the seat covers and door panels are new, but, all right, but the steering wheel has not been restored, the dash has not been restored, okay, and it's in really, really great condition. I don't know whether you want me to paint the wheel or not. It's supposed to be this color, but it's, you know, obviously over years and years it hasn't been, uh, you know, it hasn't been restored. So it's an incredible shape, and to say that you're still driving with the original wheel uh, might be important to you. You let me know. Uh, I don't mind uh, taking care of that part for you as well. The dash is all nicely done. Got the original AM radio in it. Again, another option. Bucket seats were an option. The console was an option. That radio was an option. The air conditioning that we talked about earlier under the engine compartment hood there, that was an option. All right, nice gauges. It's showing the correct mileage that we were talking about earlier in the video. And it's just beautiful in here. I mean, it really is well preserved, well taken care of. And more importantly, it just does this. It just fires up every time, man. It's just like a one of those great, kind of cool, easy cars to drive and love. And uh, uh, that's why I get so excited about it. But anyway, check out the rev from the back and, and see what you think. All right, so let's close up the video with this. Listen, if you ever came to the store, this is the uh, tags that go in the dash. Normally there's just one page because that's how many options are on a car. This one has two pages of options. So I just wanna run down real quick so we recap some of the stuff we talked about, all right? So we originally thought this car is 28,700 original miles. Pretty cool. Original steering wheel and dash still in the car. A lot of original parts still around. Hence why it drives really, really nice. I don't know if you noticed, but when I revved the motor, these things are pretty torquey rock the car, you can tell it's still got some great power in it, okay? Um, white power convertible top, all right? White power convertible top, very nice to have, all right? Uh, new chrome and stainless, so it had the optional factory console, the bucket seats, the stereo, the upgraded dash, air conditioning, all right? Uh, that uh, we talked about, had a jack and spare in the car, so like it's all restored to take to some shows or just drive or do whatever you want. And I think that if you're looking for investment grade, these cars, Impala Super Sport convertibles, first off, there weren't many of them, and then add air conditioning, which was really expensive for its time. Huh? Very few, if any. This could be the only one left in existence for all we know. Call us, 301-816-1000. We'll find a way to get this really cool Impala SS in your garage.